Uh, is on the mound. Favorite player Josh Beckett, who's the MVP of the 2003 World Series with the Marlins after pitching a shutout in the deciding game six. Shortstop Hung Wah Lin leads it off for Chinese guy. So it is ball one, and uh, we are underway on a beautiful afternoon. There will be no rain delays here in this championship. It is absolutely gorgeous out, and it is 2 0. We should point out. A couple of things about the wind right now. First of all, we are down in a bowl here in Williamsport. So even though that flag appears to be blowing straight in, when you are down on the field, sometimes you do not experience that much breeze right here as the 2-0 pitch hits that outside corner, and it's two balls and one strike. However, as Oro pointed out when we were watching practice, you've got to keep an eye on the long flies that are hit and see if the ball maybe gets held up a little bit. 2-2. Two, two. And of course you have seen as it was dug out down below and the fans began assembling on Little League Hill hours and hours ago. Plastic chairs out there all over for something. And there's the first strikeout of the game. Yeah, Brent, the crowd is absolutely amazing. Even the secondary hill where the slides usually are, where the kids are coming down on the cardboard boxes is filling. So we've got a chance for a record crowd here in Williamsport. Here's a left fielder, How you Lin, no relation to the shortstop of the same name. Hitting that outside corner here and throwing strikes. The largest attendance we ever had, and Chris Brewery remembers this very well. It came back in 1989 when Trumbull, Connecticut, beat a team from Chinese Dock Bay. And there's the first base hit of the game as Lynn slams a single to center field. And here comes their star. Win Hu Sun will be the next hitter with a teammate on. This is their player. He pitched yesterday, did very, very well. He's their leading hitter. He is their Kiko Garcia of Chinese Taipei. Kiko would be the second pitcher used. And they need a relief pitcher or if Armenta hits that magic number of 85 pitchers when it is mandatory that you have to change after that. Too low. Be very careful here with, with this bat. Two balls and no strikes on Sun. Isaiah Armenta on the mound. He pitched very well in the regionals. He was 2-0 with a .75 ERA. He was actually their best pitcher in the regional. Through eight innings and 13 strikeouts. Here at the Little League World Series, not as much of an opportunity yet. But he is somebody they're very confident in. A little tight. These youngsters from the island of Taiwan, off the mainland coast of China, they will press the issue. They forced Mexico into numerous errors in the international championship game. Very opportunistic. Uh, they are. They, they are very good at taking the pitch that's in the dirt and moving up on it. Remember in Little League, you cannot leave the base until the ball crosses the plate. Chinese Taipei is very good at getting that extra base. Out is full now with a runner on at first and one out. towing the rubber right away and looking in for the sign from Daniel Porras, who is his catcher. And with the way they run the bases, Daniel Porras has a little more pressure on him compared to playing other teams. You know, we said the Chinese Taipei has only scored 40 runs, 35 hits, but 16 of their 40 runs are unearned because of the pressure they put on the fielders and especially the catcher. So here's the 3-2. Second strikeout of the game for Armenta, who is off to a brilliant start. A huge boost of confidence for Isaiah Armenta. Not really a significant performer here at the college, the Little League World Series so far. And with him and that strikeout, striking out their best hitter, that's got to make him relax in front of this big crowd. And here comes the starting pitcher for the youngsters. Chinese Taipei, Chen Hao, Sweeney, and missing. So the road for Taipei, once
was beaten by Mexico, and then they came back to win the rematch in the international championship game. You can see that uh, they defeated Canada handily and lost that game. Came back at the big one against Curacao and won the rematch for the international championship. No balls and two strikes and a fine first inning for Armando. They really worry about the youngsters sometimes with the big crowd and so much on the line. The last game of their Little League career. How they will react to this situation, but these kids from the West have come through the pressure cooker. The guys from Chinese Taipei have done that also. And so far, so good as far as the anxiety and dealing with this moment. Flat down. Hey, I pitched in front of a lot of people, Brent, you know, 50,000 at Dodger Stadium, everybody watching on TV, and that first inning as a pitcher, as a player, is the one you just have to get through because you know you're going to feel the nerves, the excitement. You've got to be able to play the game. Staying alive is out. All in two strikes and two out. It is amazing that with California's great success at the Little League World Series that they have never beaten a team from Chinese Taipei for the title. Oh, in seven. Oh. Two two now with uh, two out. Ayu Lin is the runner at first base. Oh. Gets away. Dashes into second. That's exactly what we've been talking about, Brent. Just the moment this ball tipped off during the force's glove, how you in at first base was off. He had a great jump. If you can get a jump in Little League, it's about when the ball presses play now and that little immediate flick, even though it went off the home plate umpire Michael Galliano's foot and was right there, he was already on second base. Count full again. Swing on and miss. Menta strikes the side out. Chinese Taipei leaves one on. And the powerhouse from the west will be coming to bat in the bottom of the first.